Hey guys, and welcome back to another Element video tutorial. Uh, this time around, we're going to talk about the difference between global MIDI I.O. and the MIDI I.O. device nodes. So first, I'll start with the global MIDI I.O. because I think that's uh, the most common. So in here in the preferences on the MIDI tab, you have your active MIDI inputs. And you also have your MIDI output device that you can pick. And when you check these on here, uh, anything checked on the MIDI input will be aggregated into the MIDI in node on your graph. So, and uh, just for reference here, that's this right here in the menu, MIDI input. Just like that, and I reconnect it. So just to emphasize that again, the, the global MIDI in is all of these here, whatever's checked on, and it'll be different, you know, depending on what devices you have hooked to your machine, but those will be aggregated over here into the MIDI input node. And then <clears throat> likewise for the MIDI output device selected here, that will be, uh, there it is, that's hidden. That'll be this uh, global MIDI out node right there. And it's the same, same principle, except there's only one that you can pick. Now, the other way you can add MIDI devices is in the menu here, or we'll bring in a, a MIDI output device here. I'll bring in one of the IACs right here. I'll bring in another MIDI output. Let's do bus four. And see, the, the difference is, is you can take an individual specific device and put it on the graph, but they won't all be aggregated into the same node. So you can do, you know, it's, it just makes it, uh, you can do specific routing with specific devices, however you, you know, however you need to set your stuff up. I bring in another input, just like that. So uh, these are just random routes. I'm not really trying to build anything here, but that's the general idea. Is the global inputs and outputs will be aggregated into the single node and then the selections here will bring them in as individual nodes of their own. So just wanted to clear that up if anybody had any questions. I uh, hope this was helpful and stay tuned for another Element video tutorial coming soon. See you guys later.